Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Wednesday, August 24th. I'm Ozzy McDaniel. And I'm Christian Roach, and here's what's going on at BHS. The Best Buddies Club will have their call-out meeting on Monday, August 29th, after school until 3.15. The meeting will be in Ms. Comer's room, A1312. You can join their remind group by texting 81010 with their club code and the message at HBC8B. Please contact Ms. Comer if you have any questions. The speech and debate team will have their call-out meeting on Tuesday, August 30th, after school in Miss B's room, B2405. Come if you want to make new friends, compete against other schools, and have some fun. Please see Miss B for more information. Don't forget that the applications for the National Art Honor Society are due to Miss Woodcock in room C2201 by 3 p.m. this Friday, August 26th. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Woodcock. The Interact Club will have their call-out meeting next Wednesday, August 31st at 7.15 a.m. That meeting will be in Mr. Metz's room, Senior Academy 312. That's the third floor of Senior Academy. Please see Mr. Metz for more info. The Astronomy Club will have their first meeting on Thursday, September 1st after school at 3 p.m. Stop by by B2307 and see Mr. Walter to pick up the schedule and sign up for the Remind Group. The next Environmental Club meeting will take place Thursday, September 8th, after school in room B2-428. They have exciting plans for this year and everyone is welcome, even if you missed their first meeting. They hope to see you there. The BHS History Club will be meeting tomorrow, Thursday, August 25th. That meeting will take place at 7.10 a.m. in Ms. Crone's room, A2306. Please see Ms. Crone for more information. It's Riley Week here at BCSC. Riley shirts are on sale at the DECA store for $12. All profits will be added to our Friday night total collected for Riley Children's Hospital. Get yours while they last. This week's Spirit Days are as follows. Please keep in mind you need to dress appropriately and follow the school's expectations. The Leaders of Tomorrow Club is having a call-out meeting for anyone interested in participating in this year's culture fair. The meeting will take place in the LGI room on Thursday, August 25th after school. This is the only call-out meeting for the culture fair. Students will be able to sign up for a booth at the meeting. All slots are first come, first served. Students will be given the expectations and deadline dates as well. If you have any questions, please talk to Cecilia Opoku or Marin Woods or one of the LOT leaders. The nationally recognized Sound of Brownsburg Marching Band is looking to add a small group of dancers to their 2022 competitive show. If you have dance experience and are interested in performing and competing with the marching band, they can use you. Auditions will be held tomorrow, August 25th from 3 to 4.30 in the multi-purpose room right by door 16. The staff will provide auditionees with schedules and calendars for the season at that time. You can now pre-order the new homecoming merch. The designs can be printed on t-shirts, hoodies, crewnecks, and long sleeves. Scan the QR code to pre-order now. Clothing will be handed out Monday, September 19th. The game will be on the 23rd, Friday. The philosophy group will be meeting tomorrow, August 25th, after school until 345. That meeting will take place in Mr. Sloan's room, B1409. You can see Mr. Sloan for more info. The Spanish Club will meet on Tuesday, August 30th, after school until 345. That meeting will also be in Senior Sloan's room, B1409. Please see Senior Sloan for more information. Can you believe we're about a month into school already? No, it's going by so fast. Well, Bolu Watife Abulabi recently caught up with some freshmen to see how they're adjusting to being at the high school. We are in a few weeks to start the school year, so I thought it would be a great idea to check in with the freshmen. Uh, at the middle schools, um, I'm used to a smaller building with a lot less people, so here at the high school I'm trying to find ways to better prioritize my time and try to get from, to my classes on time. Um, coming from middle school, I think I'm adjusting pretty well. I can get my schedule down pretty nice. Um, getting to my classes is pretty simple and easy. Going from middle school to high school is a big leap, but there's a lot of benefit. Enjoying more about high school, uh, uh, I'm making a lot more friends. It's better to see my friends from West because we were separated for three years. And uh, I just enjoy the school, it's fun. I enjoy uh, the, like, the variety of clubs and stuff like that. Um, in high school, I'm really enjoying like, not having a locker or just having more freedom to tackling stuff in my classes. There are a lot of things to look forward to as a freshman. Do I have to do all 10? This year, uh, I'm looking uh, forward to the sporting events, uh, especially track, I'm a track runner. Uh, I'm looking forward to the season. We wish the best for the class of 2026, Bolu Atifel TV. Thanks, Baloo. Do you remember being a freshman? Yeah, it was fun, but I definitely don't miss it. Anyways, now it's time for sports. Hey, David, what do you have for us today? Hey, guys, it's been a very busy week for our fall athletes. Let's get things started with the volleyball teams who headed to Western Boone on Monday night. 
Varsity earned a 3-1 victory over the Stars. Ella Hemmings led the team in digs with 29 on the night. Kate Brable had 14 kills and 2 blocks. She also served 18 times. Quincy Thomas had 31 kills and a great hitting percentage. Nice job. The JV team took the Stars to 3 sets but came up just short. Brent Burton had 16 digs and Sianna Bradley had 9 kills. Both teams will host Hamilton Southeastern in a big HCC matchup tomorrow night. Good luck. The boys tennis team was back in action on Monday night hosting Westfield. The dogs fell in a close 3-2 matchup. Sam Jaudis won big 6-2, 6-1. Bryce Garland won in 3 sets. The guys are back in action tomorrow night when they travel to Fishers. And congrats to the girls JV golf team who defeated Southmont and Lebanon on Tuesday shooting a 171. Adelina Sago led the dogs with a 39 and Bria Walters had a 43. The ladies are back on the links Saturday hosting Avon at West Chase. Good luck. The soccer teams have also been busy this week. The boys hosted HCC rival Hamilton Southeastern last night in a thrilling match that was broadcasted on BCSC.TV. The varsity earned a 3-3 tie with the Royals. Evan Frost, Grant Parath, and Logan Dottenwhite had the dogs three goals in the match. The JV team had a tough loss to the Royals 2-0. Will Orlando and Talon Collier had some great saves in goal for the dogs. Both teams will travel to Southport on Saturday. Good luck. On Monday night, the girls' soccer teams were at Tri-West. The varsity lost a tough 1-0 match to the Bruins. The JV had a nice 2-0 win. Ariana Williams and Grace Schaefer had the dogs' goals. Both teams will travel to Hamilton Southeastern tonight. Good luck, ladies. We've got an exciting few days coming up for BHS Athletics. We'll keep you updated right here on BHS TV. That's it for sports today. Back over to you. Thanks, David. That's all we've got for you, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you on Friday.